Are you sick into reaching into water and getting your hands wet even if you have gloves on? Let's get into something that might be useful for you. What's up everybody and welcome back to Outdoor Gear. My name is Aaron Bottoms and today we're going to review something that is pertained to our waterfowl crew, however can be used in a lot of different settings. And what I'm talking about are decoy gloves. Now they say decoy gloves, however you can use them for fishing. If you're reaching down in the water and you're pulling lines out of the water for crab pots, if you're going camping and you're having to cut some wood, whatever it may be, these, this product here is going to keep your hands dry as well as have a little bit of grip on it and insulation, keep them warm, things like that. So let's dig into this product and see what it's made of. All right, straightforward and simple, we're looking at PVC gloves. Now, this is pretty standard when it comes to working on water or going hunting and putting out decoys. This is an essential item for us hunters and pretty much anybody just doing fishing, whether it be ice fishing or what have you. So the biggest aspect is PVC outing, which means it's going to keep you nice and dry on the inside. That water's not going to penetrate unless it gets punctured. Uh, you can see on here it says it's PVC. It's got a rough grip. So they've, what they've done up here on your fingers and your uh, thumb, everything like that on your hand is put a rubberized grip up here that makes it a little bit rougher so when you're going to grab something you grasp a hold of it. It's not going to be slick. It's not going to be super slick back here but if it gets wet you're more likely to lose your grip easier. However with this nice textured rubberized glove here you're going to get a good grip on things and you're not going to lose it theoretically. We'll get into that. We'll do some tests with that. Uh, another thing is it's insulated. So as we look inside here you've got a hundred uh, 100 gram insulation, they call it Thinsulate, for your inner. Uh, what I've noticed is that although if you put your hand in it first thing in the morning, it's going to be nice and warm. However, if you take your hand out and then put it back in or your hand gets sweaty because it's so warm, your hand will get cold then. Um, we're in the summertime here, but I wanted to do this video for the, the season coming up. These are great. I wear gloves underneath of them and sometimes even slap a hand warmer inside of it just because I know that my fingertips may get colder, whatnot. So that's something to keep in mind. While we got our hand in here, these aren't too bad. Sometimes they're a little oversized. Um, sometimes you can't really feel what you're doing. That's just the nature of the beast. However, again, we're grabbing things, you know, you're gripping. I can move my hand back and forth and it's not a problem. I'm not dropping my phone. But again, if you have smaller hands or if you have larger hands, I have, I would say, a medium size to a large hand. And these fit in great with just my hand in general. They're not too big, they're not too bulky, and they're good to go. I will be looking into these. Another great aspect is how high they come up. Uh, my particular ones that I have now are more at my wrist, which are fine. That's great and all. However, if I need to really reach in that water and get my... Uh, my pass my wrist in there to grab what I need to grab. I'm I'm restricted to at my wrist So also another good thing and it's going to keep your arm up here dry Again, these aren't meant to be punctured uh, We'll, we'll kind of test that and see if we can puncture it and how easy easily it is punctured And also these are kind of a product where PVC can dry rot if you leave it out in the sun too much so if you're gonna take it out on the fishing boat in the middle of winter, even if you leave it out in the sun for too long, it can dry rot. Even though it's winter, it's not real hot. Obviously, the, the harder the sun is, the harsher the heat is, it will take this material and dry rot it, and you will not have the longevity of it. So when you're done with them, best thing to do is flip them inside out, put them on the, the boot dryer, whatever it may be at the end of the day, and take them inside and store them in a dry place so that they're not going to sit out in the elements and deteriorate. Uh, other than that, there's not, there's not too much more to say about these gloves. They're pretty straightforward. Again, PVC um, material, got some insulation in there. Yeah, they're great. I would say use these for camping. You know, I, there's, a, there's an image online where somebody's using an axe. We'll cut some wood with it and see how they do when I grasp an axe and see if it comes flying out of my hand. Hopefully it doesn't. 
Um, another thing that we'll test is, is we'll slap these babies in the freezer and see how brittle that material gets when it's nice and icy and frozen. So we'll slap those in there and see what they do. And again, from personal experience, we'll go over what I have gone through with gloves like these and what you need to do when wearing them for the, uh, to keep your hands nice and warm while you're out in the elements. So let's get in some tests and see what this thing's made of. All right, so one test we want to try to do is see how much this grip actually holds up you know like i said we, somebody was using an axe and chopping some wood with these gloves on it looked like so if you're going out somewhere really cold and you've got to cut some wood some firewood what have you maybe try these on like i said they're insulated and they've got some grip on them so one problem i've already seen is i've got a right hand glove and i've got a right hand glove um we're going to make do with what we got so we're going to flip this glove around and just do what we can with it while we chop this wood so overall I mean I'm pushing down on the back here and it's not like sliding through so it feels like it's got some grip some decent grip where I can get a hold of this thing and really um, grasp it not really I'm not gonna feel like I'm gonna lose this thing when I start chopping so let's uh, chop the wood and see what happens All right, so I'm not gonna claim to be the most prolific with an ax. However, I felt comfortable when swinging this thing like it wasn't gonna fly out of my hands with these gloves on. So if that tells you anything, if you got a grip on this, it's not gonna slide through. Now, when we add a little bit of water, we'll see what happens. So we're down here with the chicken and ducks and this is their coop door. What I wanna really see is how well these uh, protect you from the wire and things like that. We've got some chicken wire here and then we've got some larger wire and we got some little pieces up here that might catch and we'll see if they tear into them. Seems like they held up just fine. Move on to the next thing. We've got a small tear there rubbing on that tin uh, that's not you know I, I did that on purpose and it didn't even go all the way through so I'm pretty happy with that so I want to test the grip on the scrub while it's wet and uh, so we'll get that a little damp I'm not too worried about it being waterproof because I believe they are waterproof and that's just how they are PVC material is very waterproof so get that wet and I got myself a post hole digger here or driver and I want to slide my hand up and down that because I want to see how well it grips because you never know when you're going to be using this. So hitting the tree, it's not getting too much movement when I have a grip on it. Now if I have a loose grip, then sure, my hand will slide. But if I hold it tight and uh, firm on there, my hand's not going anywhere. Now, can't say that if it freezes outside and there's ice on your glove, it'll probably slip because that's just what happens. But overall, the grip feels really good. Uh, I don't think it's going anywhere and I like it. it. Seems to be a good product so far. Back in the shed here and um, we're gonna see how one, when we put this in the freezer for a while, how the material holds up, whether or not it's going to crack and break and things like that when it's sitting there overnight and, and whatnot. And other thing we want to see is how the cold penetrates the glove, whether or not your hand is going to stay warm when you're reaching and holding something cold or what. So we'll toss this one in here and we'll pull out, I've got some goose breast from the year before or from this past season and we'll just hold on to that. And right off the bat, I can feel a little bit of cold, not a ton, 
but just enough. Which tells me that when I'm grabbing something cold, I will feel it come through a little bit. However, if I hold on to it for a long time, then it will make my hand colder. It's not a lot of an insulation, it's just enough to keep your hand warm. And like I said, you wanna put a hand warmer in there if you know your hands are gonna be in there for a while. This isn't a glove that's going to be used constantly. It's more of a glove that's gonna be used to pick up decoys or put them out and that kind of thing to keep your other gloves dry while you're doing it. However, your hands will sweat while they're working. It's kind of counterproductive, that's just how it works. So if I'm holding something cold, my hand isn't cold at the moment. I can feel a little bit of cold coming through, but if it's cold outside, then it might be a different story. If my hands were already cold and I'm trying to warm them up, I don't want to hold something cold, but keep that in mind. Overall, not too bad. We'll let this other one sit in here for a few hours, maybe till tomorrow morning, and then we'll check back in and see what the cold has done to it. It's got a little bit of water on it. Will it break? Will it crack? Who knows? We'll see that. All right, so we got our glove out of the freezer. It's been sitting in there for over 24 hours, and it's still pliable. It's still moving. The material's not fragile, brittle, or cracking, anything like that. We did sustain some damage when we put our hand in the chicken coop wire and against the tin roofing, and it just a few cuts there. Uh, cut down here that hopefully you can see, you know, we lost a waterproofing, but hey, slap some aqua seal on it, seal it back up, and it's going to last you for a while. I have zero doubts that these will last a couple seasons, and for 20 bucks, the Midwest decoy gloves, $20, not a bad deal. You know, the insulation, like I said, your hands might sweat like mine do in the wintertime when I'm moving my hands a lot, I'm doing stuff with decoys, I'm getting in the blind, I'm adjusting things, whatever my hands start to sweat. I keep hand warmers in here along with my other gloves that I'm wearing so that when they do get, when I take my hand out, they're sweaty and I gotta do something else to put my hand in the water again. When I put them back on, my hand's not gonna freeze up and be cold. So keep that in mind. They're not the warmest of materials, but it will keep your hand dry. You put a hand warmer in there, you're solid, you're good to go. So $20 on Amazon. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was useful if you're getting ready to go out crabbing or fishing or duck hunting this season, whatever it may be, get yourself some decoy gloves. They're handy, they're cheap, and they'll be very useful to you. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and let us know what you want to see so we can get it reviewed before the season comes in, before you go fishing, before you put your money towards that product. We'll show you what it's made of. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it.